Are you itching to get your latest learning programs online? Do you have a burning desire to take advantage of the latest technology? Are your learners experiencing irritation about their online learning experience? You may have chronic LMS. You should talk to your IT person about it, but be warned, they see you coming. Oh no, here come those people from the learning department again. They probably want to talk about their learning management system again. Don't they realize I've got real applications to run? Sure, they cover the entire enterprise, but how many transactions? A hundred courses a day? We're processing a hundred emails a day per employee. They've got compliance. We have the legal department calling us every day. <clears throat> the first thing you need to understand is that the IT department is handling projects at a level of complexity that dwarfs the LMS. They still want you to be successful because the better training is, the easier things are for them. They just want to understand the bigger picture. Be respectful of their time. Be clear about what you need. Be understanding about their limitations. So, you want your LMS to solve world hunger and taste like vanilla ice cream. Well, I suppose that's possible. Um, it all depends. You know, there's a lot of variables. Why do you always get these non-answers from your IT people? Basically, it comes down to two reasons. First, they need to be able to set expectations. After years of working with frustrated stakeholders, they know that they can't promise things that they are not able to guarantee they can deliver. More importantly though, the second reason that IT qualifies their answers is that IT is set up based on configurations that are based on the customer's requirements. If you want your LMS to taste like vanilla ice cream, you have to configure it to taste like vanilla ice cream. Do these people even know what problem they're trying to solve with this technology? How does the feature they're asking for actually produce business value? Mm. IT is very aware of the cost of technology. Not just the direct costs, but the cost of time. Just like the L&D department, they have to justify their spend. They know that technology that solves a business problem gets funding in the future. Just like when learning professionals often say that training is not always the answer, IT people know that technology is not always the answer. Give them the business case for the capability that you are requesting. What do those learning people want from us? Don't they know that solutions don't grow on trees? The more you know about what IT does, the better equipped you will be to collaborate with them on successful solutions. Here are some of the basics. Hosting. The software and data has to live somewhere that people can get to it. This means on-premise, which is on a server that is inside your company's firewall, or in the cloud, which simply means that you are renting space outside the firewall. Security. The system has to give learners access to what they need and prevent them from mucking with something that they shouldn't. To do this, each person needs an account and login credentials. The system also needs to connect to third-party resources and pass along login credentials to them. Data. The system needs to input data about people and output data about learning activities. Making sure that data is up-to-date, relevant, and accurate is a complex job. I don't know what the problem is with those learning people. We've been ready. They're the ones that haven't gotten us what we need to get moving. <clears throat> Communication is key. You don't want to find out later that the missed deadline was due to something that you dropped. Make sure that you know what IT needs from you. And another thing. Don't think you can just come in here and... What? What? What's this? Oh. A detailed functional requirements document. Well, yes, that's helpful, but you still can't... What's this? Oh, it's a, it's a project plan with clear deadlines. Yeah, well, that would be helpful, I guess, but, oh, what now? Right, they've also got a communication plan and a, a procedures document. Um, <clears throat> well, 
Oh yeah, I guess this project might work out all right. If you or someone you know has a bad case of chronic LMS, take generous doses of documentation and communicate regularly with your IT person and you will find that it can be easily managed.